Hello everyone, this is Warhawk Beyond 2040 and welcome to another edition of the Jazz Albums Review Series. And today I am going to be taking a look at the very short but impressive catalogue from two of the most celebrated, decorated and popular musicians of the smooth jazz genre. And this association goes all the way back to the mid 80s when these two first started playing together. But it wasn't until the mid 90s that these two gentlemen decided to form a band and release two albums in a 10 year period. And the two gentlemen I'm talking about need no introduction whatsoever. I am talking about, of course, the one and only pianist David Benoit and guitarist Russ Freeman and their band, The Benoit Freeman Project. So David Benoit and Russ Freeman, as I mentioned, first started playing together in the mid 80s when David Benoit was a member of the original incarnation of the Rippingtons and they've often guested on each other's albums. David Benoit would guest on a few Rippingtons albums. Russ Freeman would guest on a couple of David Benoit's albums but it wasn't until the mid 90s as I said that David Benoit and Russ Freeman decided to get together and release two amazing albums in 1994 to 2004 so there's a 10 year gap in between both albums so what i am going to be doing today i am going to be talking about both albums individually and i'll be choosing which one i think is the best one not an easy task when you've got just two albums but i can guarantee you when you've got david benoit and russ freeman you know you're not going to get a bad album these two are as good as it gets and when they get together they've got a very distinct sound you know straight away who it is and the thing with these two albums is very much in the style of not just the Rippingtons but also in the style of David Benoit's solo album so you can definitely tell it's them when you hear them play together so we're going to start with the first album which came out in 1994 and this is the self-titled album simply called the Benoit Freeman Project so this came out in 1994 as you'd expect from two musicians of this caliber, pure magic. It's just very, very smooth, very, very rock driven in some tracks. And is also a nice orchestral feel to it as well. So it's kind of like smooth jazz meets fusion meets classical music. It's a very lovely album. Russ Freeman at his very best playing classical guitar. And he also can rock it up on the electric guitar. And David Benoit, you know, he's got such a, elegant sound on grand piano you know, you know it's him you know, there's lots of good piano players in jazz and in the smooth jazz genre but David Benoit for me he's the king of smooth you know when you hear him you know it's him because he's got such a delicate and elegant touch on the piano and we've got musicians featured on here are Nathan East from Foreplay, Stephen George, Gary Grant, Jerry Hay, Dan Higgins, Kenny Loggins, Tony Morales from the Rippingtons, Phil Perry, Steve Reed, also from the Rippingtons, John Robinson, and Janie Thomas and Vesta. So some pretty big names on here. So we're going to have a quick look. There it is. There they are. So most of the compositions are either written by Russ Freeman or co-composed by David Benoit and Russ Freeman or David Benoit himself. So, you know, it's a band effort it's a true collaboration you know these two work very very well together and we've got the opener reunion which is just probably one of the best opening tracks i've ever heard for an album you know it's got the love it it's just an absolute kick-ass opening track and Russ Freeman he just really tears it up on electric guitar especially at the end you know, he really rocks it up so it's a great opening track we've got When She Believed In Me with, with Kenny Loggins on vocals I could do without the vocals but it's still a nice track but you know I could do without the vocals really and um, we've got Mediterranean Nights which is just absolutely gorgeous you know you've got Russ Freeman opening on classical guitar and then we've got the orchestra coming in, which was conducted and arranged by David Benoit. It's just a really, really gorgeous track. And it really goes into like this nice laid back number. Lovely track. We've also got Swept Away. Another great, beautiful track. The end of our season. 
It's just beautiful. I can tell you now, Russ Freeman is an amazing guitar player. It doesn't really get talked about that much compared to like your Lee Ritzners and your Larry Coltons, but I definitely put him up there. He's an amazing guitar player. And you put him with David Benmore, it's just pure magic. So we got After the Love Has Gone, which has got um, Phil Perry on lead vocals. Again, nothing against Phil Perry, but you know, I could do without the vocals, but it's still a nice track. It's still a lovely track. Smarty Pants, which is really great. It's got the horn section, another great track as well. It's the Thoughts That Counts, lovely, lovely track as well. You know, it's do 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 Love that track. It's a really great track. Mirage is another great track as well. And then what's a way to close the album? That's all I could say, which has got like Steve Reed on percussion and Russ Freeman on classical guitar. And you've got the orchestra playing as well. And David Benoit on piano. You know, David Benoit's piano playing is just top class throughout, you know. So, as I say, he's got a very elegant touch, very classy sound. There's nobody else that sounds like David Benoit. He's got a very distinct sound too. And, you know, it's really showcased on this particular track. That's all I can say. You know, it's just lovely. So we got a great kick-ass opener with Reunion, and then we just quietly close with a gorgeous number at the end with That's All I Could Say. So really good. So there's uh, who plays on what track. And the credits as well. And uh, there's the musicians. So I would say the standout tracks for me are definitely Reunion, Mediterranean Nights, Swept Away, Mirage. That's all I could say, but the whole album is just amazing. It's just a fantastic album. You know, you can't go wrong with David Benoit and Russ Freeman. So there you have it. The Benoit Freeman Project, their self-titled album. Fantastic album. I thought, you know, one of the best albums on GRP Records. And, you know... You can't go wrong with David Benoit and Russ Freeman, as I said. If you're looking to hear lush piano playing and gorgeous guitar work, definitely go with this one. You, know, you can't go wrong with these two. These are as good as it gets. You know, When you think of smooth jazz, I think of these two. You know, it's just two outstanding players, and when they come together, it's amazing. And to me, I kind of look at it like it's a Rippington's album with David Benoit on piano, which is no surprise because you know Russ Freeman's such a dominant man you know such a dominant musician but this is not just the rippingtons featuring david benoit you know this is very much a team effort a true collaboration and you know these guys work very very well together so there you have it the benoit freeman project beautiful album so that would be it for a while and then David Benoit and Russ Freeman would reunite in 2004 to release their next project, which was the Benoit Freeman Project 2. Great follow-up to the first one. Pretty much picks up where we left off. It's very much in that style of the Rippingtons and David Benoit's orchestral style of playing. Lovely, lovely album. As I said, nice continuation. I've already had to wait 10 years for it for the next one, but... It's a lovely album, and as I said, these two don't miss a beat, you know. They captured lightning in the bottle with their first album, and they keep it here and just release some more great music with this one. So it's a nice follow-up to the first album. So we got Parmento Park, Via Neve, Montecito, Club Havana, Two Survivors, Samba, Moon Through the Window, Strutting, Stiletto Hills, Waiting for the Stars to Fall. It's a really lovely album this is. So let's have a quick look. There they are. The two cool cats themselves. Nice. So, of course, we got David Benoit on piano, Fender Rhodes and Yamaha Motif 8. We've got Russ Freeman on acoustic, classical and electric guitars and guitar synthesizer. And we've got an amazing rhythm section. We've got Vinnie Carlotto on drums. We've got Louis Conti, David Carpenter on bass, Byron House on bass. We've got the legendary Peter Erskine, Vince Gill on vocals, Chris Bosey on trumpet, David Pack on vocals. And we've got the Nashville String Machine on soundtracks. And we've also got 
a string orchestra as well. So some star power there. So there we are. There we go. So we got all of the compositions are all written and composed by David Benoit and Russ Freeman. There's a couple of tracks written just by Russ Freeman. And we've got um, one track here that was written by Al Anderson and Nicholas Gary. So lovely set of music here. Can't go wrong. Standout tracks for me are Palmento Park, which is just gorgeous opener. Another great one. Do, 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 do. It's a lovely track for this. And we got Monty Sito, Club Havana, Waiting for the Stars to Fall is a great track as well. Moon for the Windows, another great track, and Sambo as well. It's just a lovely album. And you know, as I said, these guys, although ten years later they released this next one, they don't miss a beat. They just sound absolutely fantastic together. And as I said, Russ Freeman, outstanding guitar player, David Benoit, one of the best pianists of any genre, real king of smooth as far as I'm concerned, just an outstanding player. So those are the standout tracks for me and there you have it, the Benoit Freeman Project 2, so excellent album. So I highly recommend both of these albums, you can't go wrong when you've got two guys of this calibre, doesn't get any better than David Benoit and Russ Freeman. And my favourite album for me out of these two, the first one. <laughs> Can't go wrong you. The first one is just a classic. I love the second one. Don't get me wrong. I love the second one, but this one really done it for me. Really punch you right in the mouth. It's just a beautiful, classy, elegant album. So there you have it. The Benoit Freeman Project, my favourite album of the two. Both great. But I'm going with the first one. Can't beat it. So that's going to be it for me. I am going to wrap this up now. What's your favourite Benoit Freeman Project album? Is it the first one? Or is it the second one? And if so, which are your favourite tracks from the first one? Reunion, When She Believed in Me, Mediterranean Nights, Swept Away, The End of Our Season, After Love Has Gone, Smarty Pants, It's the Fourth That Counts, Mirage, that's all I could say. Or is it the Benoit Freeman Project 2? And what are your favourite tracks from that album? Palamento Park, Via Neve, Montecito, Club Havana, Two Survivors, Samba, Moon for the Window, Strutting, Stiletto Heels, or Waiting for the Stars to Fall? There's no right or wrong answer. We all have our favourite albums and our favourite tracks. You know what to do, guys. Hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, leave your thoughts and comments down below. And I will see all of you next time for another edition of the Jazz Albums Review Series. So until next time, take care, everybody, and stay safe. And once again, as always, much appreciated. Thanks for listening.